Here is a Van de Graaff generator. You can build for very little money, made of cardboard and PVC pipe. No big aluminum globe required. Instead, the collector is aluminum foil wrapped around a cardboard rectangle. The usual Van de Graaff advice is to avoid corners and edges. Make it as rounded as possible, which is true, but this foil box is a lot cheaper and does work as I'll show you right now. The grounding globe is three inches diameter. You can hear some sparks that the video misses. The spark length is about six centimeters. Here, the Van de Graaff is driving an electrostatic motor, not my design. I'll try to find the reference later. The charge from the Van de Graaff is leaking through the air, charging the three foil-wrapped bottles. The middle bottle has segments which are repelled when they acquire the same charge as their neighbor via thin pointed wires which don't touch but spray charges upon the foil. The grounding globe speeds up the process by providing a better path to Van de Graaff ground. Here are sparks from a small acorn nut stuck on the collector to the ground terminal. You can see the zigzag path through the air. Here I show electrostatic discharge through a fluorescent tube. I'm holding the grounding globe close and the spark ionizes the gas. These paper streamers become charged and are repelled from the collector. Now I'll show you more about how to construct this foil box Van de Graaff. For a few months now I've been trying to design a really low cost Van de Graaff generator. This is my sixth one and I'll show later some of the things that didn't work. You can see how it's made, the bottom belt pulley is 1 and 7 8 inch diameter PVC. Its speed is measured at 3311 rpm. It is driven by an old sewing machine motor. The belt is an exercise band which is pretty short. 
longer would be better and would increase the charge build up I believe because of the longer distance between the collector and the bottom brush. If you have an electric drill, you can make a holder like this and temporarily use it to drive your Van de Graaff. The holder is hinged to maintain belt tension. Or you can even make a hand wheel as you see here and not need any motor. Let's take off the collector. You can see the wire connecting the foil to the top brush. Here is the upper belt pulley. For brushes I used plain multi-strand wire spread out and trimmed with scissors to form a flat array of points. See this cardboard? On top and bottom of the collector? They are very important. At first I used 3 16 inch thick PVC sheet, but these 8 layers of corrugated cardboard work just as well. Larger and thicker may work better. They apparently act as barriers to the charge leaking from the foil edges. You can see a lot of cardboard in this construction. My goal is to make the whole thing buildable with the cheapest materials, such as recycled boxes. Also, using only the simplest hand tools like a utility knife, hacksaw blade, screwdriver, some glue, and tie wraps. No wood shop or machine shop required. The top and bottom belt pulleys run on simple plain bearings on 1 8 inch diameter steel shafts, steel rod bought at Home Depot. Some sturdier coat hangers are almost that diameter. I'm making this YouTube video because I want you experimenters and students to learn about electrostatics. This is part one about building foil box van de Graaffs. I will be adding details and trying to make the next build even cheaper than model 6. There is enough from what I posted in this video for you to make one of these, but I will be showing more details and possible improvements. Please bestow a like upon me if you did like this video, and subscribe to my channel. Great project for scout groups, school science classes and STEM camps. Is it simple and low cost enough for every STEM student to make their own? That's my goal. This belt pulley is made of manila folder material rolled up with Elmer's glue between layers. It's a hollow cylinder with 8 layers of the same paper at both ends. Don't need to buy plastic, if you have paper around the house. One word of caution about Van de Graaffs, don't operate them close to electronic equipment. I ran this one about 10 feet away from my laptop, but it still affected it and a few days later I found it would not reboot and I had to buy a new hard drive and lost a lot of data. With a cheap enough Van de Graaff, it would be easier to make one that collects positive charges and one that collects negative charges and thus create twice the potential difference due to one alone. Is it possible to stack them in series? Probably still limited by the collector. Can this design be scaled up in size? I don't know. One variation I'm likely to build is one with the foil box collector positioned horizontally, thus providing a flat level surface for demonstrations. It would fit in a given room better, not as close to the ceiling for low ceiling rooms.